What's up guys, I'm Ryan Finners and welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. On today's video, on this golf cart here, when you're driving down the road and you let your foot off the gas or off the accelerator, it should just coast. Um, region is turned off on the controller, but it does not coast any longer. And I know everybody's gonna say, the first thing is say, oh, you need to check your brakes. Well, we're gonna do that, but let me show you exactly kind of what I'm talking about here. Start from the front, go to the back. See how it just abruptly stopped? It shouldn't do that. So yeah, we're gonna see exactly what's going on. I believe the brakes inside the rear end are sticking or inside the drum. Let's just jump into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, lift up this floor mat. Now my floor mat is cracked over here and it's cracked on that side. And you can remove these bolts here in order to pull um, these side covers away to gain access to your mat. I've had my mat out numerous times, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just pull it away from the bottom. It automatically comes out that side. It'll come out this side as well. Just when you go in and put it back in, you're just gonna have to tuck it into place. Let's pull this cover here up. And this is the access here. Not sure if you can see that on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the brake uh, cables from the brake itself, just to show you and to prove that it's still, I believe, coming in the rear end. So, so if this is too tight, we can loosen it up. However, I think it's in the axle itself or the drums. So I'm gonna just go ahead and loosen this right here up. Remember, it's a uh, lefty tighty righty loosey on this. Let's get the lock nut off. Lock nuts off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the the brake switch there. All right. It's loosened up. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another push again and see if our problem still exists, which I think it does. And we'll go from there. Does the problem still exist? Yep, still exists. So before we jack the golf cart up, we're just gonna go ahead and bust the lugs loose. Okay, we got the golf cart jacked up and the wheels are off. I don't think that's our problem on the passenger side. It's wanting to turn. Let's check out the driver's side. That's our problem right there, guys. The brakes in here are sticking on this one. It don't want to come off. It don't want to turn. So we have an issue on this right here side. So let's try to get a rubber mallet and beat this right here drum off and see if we can expect the problem. See, it is turning. Man, it's tight. All right, that's off. Now let's see if it'll turn with the hub itself off. Let's see if it'll turn then. Yeah, it's, it's turning fine then. So it lets us know that the brakes itself are too tight. All right, so this is the driver's side of the brakes here and the axle spinning fine so there's nothing wrong with the bearings inside the axle there's nothing wrong with the motor everything's spinning just fine the problem i've ran into is let's look at the brakes here for a minute so back here we have our back brake pad here up here we have our front brake pad right there there's springs there's one spring at the top in here if you can see that there's one spring in here that you can see but this right here is the adjuster on the club car president. And this arm right here is controlled by the arm that the brake cable pulls against right here. See here, see the arm moving? What happens is this arm right here, the shaft to the arm is extruding right there. And this needs to actually, this right here needs to be between the adjuster right here and the brake axle. So if you can see the adjuster here, it's flat on one side and angled on the other. 
So every time we pull or every time you push your brake pedal and the brake cable right here pulls forward, this right here adjuster pulls outward and it actually needs to pull against this little gear here, against the flat side. Now since it's in the lock position out front, it's not doing that. See it lines up fine, but you can't push it back on there. I know what you're thinking, well maybe you know it's not lined up perfectly well it, it goes on backwards just fine that lets us know that the brakes has pushed outward too much so we need to actually take this arm right here that's connected to the adjuster and put it between the adjuster gear and the brake axle so what i'm gonna do is take this adjuster here if you can see that and i can rotate it up and down not sure if one of the springs may be worn out on it that's why it might have popped out Look at there, it just, all of it just popped back into place. Now without touching it, let's see if we can put this brake drum back on. We still might have to adjust it some more. Okay, so it's, it's not going on still, so we still need to adjust it some more. If we rotate this upwards with your finger here, the brakes will contract together. If you rotate them the other way, these, these brakes will actually expand. We want a little bit of friction on the brakes for stopping, but you don't want it to just drag there. See, much easier there. I just don't hear anything. I'm gonna just try to adjust the brakes a little bit more. So it's gonna take you a couple of times to get it to where you want it. Right now, I think it's better than it was. Every time you hear it click, the spring is pulling this mechanism back and is resetting it back into place until the next time you hit the brake pedal. I think that's pretty much fixed right there. Now you can adjust it to your standards and you can, you can make it where it's just as perfect as it can be. However, in my case, I think this is great. We need to go ahead and hook these brakes back up. What we're gonna do here, look how much easier the golf cart just rolls. We don't want that much play. That feels good. Okay, we don't want too much play here. We want to make sure it's just right. Also, if you have a parking light wire that's hooked up to yours, you need to go ahead and reinstall that bracket as well. Now that we have the brakes unstuck off the axle, this is what the golf cart will roll like. Much easier. That problem's now fixed, so that's one thing you can look for when you're checking your brakes if your golf cart or your club car president has sticking brakes. <laughs> <laughs>